Hi there, this is Fred, FR5ED, 5 silent. I'm in my car. I'm getting ready to drive roughly two miles. I'll know the exact mileage when I get there, but a brand new world of beer is opening today. It actually opened about two, two hours and 51 minutes ago. Uh, so I just got back into town and I'm headed up there. I am traveling in my car now. This is exciting. Not that I think World of Beer is the greatest uh, beer pub in the world. Um, you know, they're a little pricey. Um, you know, their their servers, in my experience so far, and the few I've been in, are some are knowledgeable, some have a ways to go. Um, but uh, <laughs> did I mention it's two miles from my door? At least I get to come try things that I haven't had before, and when I like something, I can make a note of it and get it myself later. So. Outside of my my uh, my own refrigerator full of beer in my garage, this is the next best thing. See you in a minute. Did I say two miles from my house? Let me correct that. It's 1.9, and here we are. Off the chart. Yeah. No, I like, I like, I like. All right. What I'm trying is, okay, this is Erthel Hoppet. This is an actually a Belgian blonde ale, but it's supposedly hoppy. Uh, it's, um, I think it's 8%, no, 9.5% ABV, Konigshoven, which is a Trappist uh, brewery in Holland. Um, so it's not really Trappist, it's Trappist style. Holland does this, so we're going to, it's already been poured for me. It's definitely blonde. It's like a, a straw color. Not much of a head on there, but let's give it a smell. First thing I smell is the malts, those, those light, light malts that they use for the, uh, the Belgian ales. A little tiny sour uh, aroma there, too. Don't give much hops, so this is going to be interesting. I'm, it's a Belgian ale for sure. You get that sweet candy style sugar. Gentle biscuity malty taste. Hops are, are, I'm looking for them. Of course, I just finished a double IPA, so finding hops, there they are. I just tasted a little bit. Um, it's delightful. It's, it's very, it's carbonated, it's refreshing. Uh, it tastes lighter than it is because it is 9 point something ABV. IBUs are going to really be really low though, so it's not going to satisfy an IPA fan, but I recommend you try it. This is Fred FR5ED over now. Okay, this is Fred FR5ED. I've just been to the grand opening of World of Beer in Altamont and uh, had a great experience. Got to sample a few beers and actually had one I hadn't had before, and I finished up with the Dogfish Head 90 that they had on tap. Interestingly about that, very different taste for Dogfish Head 90. I've had several this year and uh, they have mostly been uh, very, I mean they've all been the same. They've been creamy, malty, sweet, uh, quite hoppy, very uh, signature. But I'll tell you what, I hear a siren. Tell you what, that um, the Dogfish Head 90 I had tonight was different. I could tell it was Dogfish Head 90 mostly, but it had a lot of a, a, a harder coffee edge to the, the malt side of things. Uh, everything else was pretty familiar, but uh, had, a, had a coffee taste, an actual coffee taste um, in there. So interesting. So that's it. This is Fred FR5ED. Over and out.